Annette Bening and Warren Beatty are a Hollywood power couple who have enjoyed decades together and are still going strong. Their paths first crossed in 1991 on the set of the film Bugsy, a biographical crime drama. Warren, a seasoned actor and director, was immediately drawn to Annette's magnetic presence and undeniable talent. Little did they know, their professional collaboration would soon evolve into a deeply personal connection that would change the course of their lives forever. Despite their age difference, Beatty is 21 years older than Benny, the couple's chemistry was undeniable. They embarked on a whirlwind romance, captivating audiences with their red carpet appearances and genuine affection for one another. When it comes to the couple's properties, in 2012 they were seeking to sell their one-acre Mediterranean estate in Beverly Hills, one of a few homes they owned. Annette and Warren's six-bedroom, eight-bathroom home with a guest house popped up on the market for just under $7 million. Nearly 11,000 square foot mansion was built in 1982 and offered ample privacy and spacious accommodations suitable for a large family. Considering that the couple also raised their four children here, this is deep offered expansive lawns, a swimming pool, maids' quarters, gym, and much more. Actress Annette Bening catapulted to fame with her Oscar-nominated performance in 1990's The Grifter. Just a year later, Warren Beatty, her now husband of nearly three decades, cast her as his love interest in the 1991 film Bugsy. Her initial impression of the actor, director, and legendary ladies' man was that he was incredibly intelligent, Annette said in an interview. I remember thinking, wow, this guy is so smart and and so sharp and funny, but more just articulate. She continued, He was very talkative, he was very passionate about the movie that he was about to make. He had a lot to say, and he was charming for sure. Beatty was famously smitten returned after his first lunch meeting with Benning and told Bugsy director Barry Levinson, I'm going to marry her. In 1992, just after a year of meeting, they tied the knot in a private ceremony surrounded by family and close friends. While they may have had a large age difference together, Annette, 65, and Warren, now 87, have formed one of Hollywood's most private and enduring unions. They raised four children out of the spotlight, all of whom are adults now. Stephen, who's an artist and writer, Ben, an actor, Isabel, a writer and film student, and Ella, an acting student. Annette went on to share having a family together was something I always wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. The minute I could start babysitting, like 12 or 13, I was the neighborhood baby. Babysitter. It just always felt natural to me. Nothing comes close. With their four kids now moved out, Benning finds herself with an empty nest. She admitted sometimes it's hard for me to let go and just remember, oh, that's not my job anymore. I'm so proud of these adult children who aren't children, but they're my kids. They're all so different and they're all of there discovering themselves and their voices. We think we're there to teach them and of course, what we realize is that they teach us everything. Despite their busy schedules, Warren and Annette make it a point to spend quality time together, whether it's attending school events, family vacations, or simply enjoying quiet moments at home. Speaking of homes, the couple has cultivated a sense of domestic bliss in their various residences over the years. From sprawling estates to cozy family abodes, each property reflects their eclectic taste and shared vision for a comfortable and inviting home. In 2012, Annette Benning and Warren Beatty listed their longtime mansion on Mulholland Drive for $6.995 million, a sprawling home where they raised their children. This decision followed Beatty and Benning's attempt to rent out the property for $27,500 per month, which was later reduced to $25,000 per month. The ivy-clad home was situated in the Beverly Crest neighborhood of Los Angeles and was built in 1992. The couple also owned nearby properties, one of them which is reportedly still their main residence. So it's not as if they had nowhere to move to. Built in a Mediterranean style, the 10,594 square foot estate included a media room, a library, a gym, an office, maids quarters, six bedrooms, and eight bathrooms over two levels. Evidently, Annette and Warren loved to entertain as the mansion features generously sized rooms. The power couple owned the home since 1986 and raised their four children here. This charming residence boasts French doors and lush foliage, offering a picturesque setting. Inside the place, 
sprawling staircase shows an elegant detailed handrail adding to the property's grand feeling. The bathrooms are equally spacious. Privacy is ensured with the estate situated at the end of a long driveway surrounded by trees. Many rooms on the upper level of the home opened up to Julia balconies, while main room spaces led out to covered porches or other outdoor spaces. Residents can enjoy stunning views of Los Angeles from inside the mansion or while outside relaxing in the infinity pool. The abundance of windows fills the interior with natural lights, creating a bright and open atmosphere. The expansive backyard is perfect for outdoor activities and would have provided ample space for children to play, while elsewhere there's also a glass-roofed greenhouse tucked into the wooded hillside below the house. The Acre Plus site contains a separate guest house, a swimming pool with spa, mature trees, and expansive lawns. In more recent years, in 2019, this home was revealed again following a modern makeover. Jonathan Baker, a New York hotel owner and producer known for his role on FSN's World Poker Tour, toured the Beverly Hills estate listed by Warren and Annette, and he actually met Beatty at home. Baker said about this encounter, Four and a half hours later, nobody, not at brokers, the lawyer, or security was talking except for me and him. Well, after purchasing this nearly 11,000 square foot property for $6.7 million in 2012, Baker not only only gained ownership but also Beatty's interest in his cinematic aspirations. He said, come back tomorrow with your scripts, Baker shared, highlighting Beatty's encouragement of his film projects. Despite facing challenges, including a $5 million renovation cost and three listing attempts during construction, Baker's vision transformed the Mediterranean-style mansion into a contemporary beauty inspired by old Hollywood glamour. Among the notable changes, Beatty's former office was changed into a lavish 17-person theater featuring purple velvet loungers and a tribute to Beatty's iconic film Bonnie and Clyde. The space, now named the Beatty Theater, evokes the ambiance of a studio executive screening room. And in addition, Baker discreetly incorporated Beatty's personal drop-down screen into the ceiling of the deep blue living room, reminiscent of the luxurious atmosphere found at Maidstone, the East Hampton Hotel owned by the Baker since 2008. While Annette and Warren keep their current mansion quite private, it's said that they live in a sprawling property near the one that we just looked at. This secluded property is supposedly over 20,000 square feet of space, offering a tree-surrounded private lot and features like a sparkling swimming pool and spa. Warren Beatty and Annette Bening, Hollywood legends both on and off the screen, have captivated audiences with their remarkable talent and enduring love story. From their initial meeting on the set of Bugsy to raising a family together, their bond has remained solid. Their homes, reflections of their shared journey, have been sanctuaries where they've built a life full of warmth and cherished memories. As they continue to navigate the ever-changing landscape of Hollywood, Warren Beatty and Annette Bening remind us that true love and enduring partnership are the ultimate treasures no matter where life's journey may lead. While that wraps up today's house tour, be sure to answer this question for me before you go. What is the biggest age gap you would be okay with in a relationship? Let me know down in the comments. I'm Kara. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.